In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get started with Elementor and this is going to be going over the installation process. So, the so first thing to know is that when it comes to Elementor, it is a page builder. Um, this is what you can use to build any WordPress website that you would like and um, you're able to do this without no code. That's what essentially Elementor is for. So the first thing I would note is to first go and make a account with them. I already have my account here and um, I would suggest you go into the pro version of Elementor because you have so many more features, so many more things that you can do with Elementor Pro. Me personally, that's all I use. You can get by with Elementor free, but you will eventually want to go into the Pro. Now, I actually have the Elementor Pro link to get started down in the description box if you're looking to get started. Now, if you are looking to just use Elementor Pro without opting directly into paying for um, a package yourself and getting a license for yourself, you can always just get my hosting and you can actually use one of my licenses. But you get your own website space and you can use all of my tools with Elementor Pro being one of the things that you can utilize and you can get some practice with and things like that and I will have the link for that down below as well so let's just hop right into how to um, install this so the first thing you want to do is go to your plugins and add a new plugin once you're on the plugin section you want to actually search in Elementor enter it didn't right here, you will see it. And this one is the free version. But the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on the install button. And then it's gonna ask you to activate it and you want to click on activate. Now I already have an account, so I can actually go right down here to the bottom and connect my account. But essentially, if this is your first time, you wanna go through this process and actually create your Elementor account. Or like I said, you can always do this on the back end, create it by going to elementor.com, create an account, and then once you do have it created at the bottom down here, you just wanna click on connect your account. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. And now I have Elementor. So if I go to plugins, you will see that I do have Elementor. Now it's going to already have the Elementor Pro link right here and you can click on this and you can get Elementor Pro. But again, if you already have it, how you want to install that is go to your profile on elementor.com or my.elementor.com. And you wanna click here and you wanna click this download here and you wanna download the Elementor Pro. I'm gonna go back here because now in order to upload or install the Elementor Pro, you can't necessarily find it by searching it like how we did with the regular Elementor Pro. Now this time, once you wanna click on add new plugin, you're gonna click on upload plugin. And from here, you're just gonna choose that Elementor Pro file. So now I'm just gonna click on choose file. And in my downloads, you see the Elementor Pro is right here. I'm just going to click that, click open, and I'm going to go ahead and install it. So again, to install Elementor for free, you can just go to your plugins and you can search for the plugin. But for Elementor Pro, after you make an account, you can download the Elementor Pro zip file, and that's how you will upload this plugin. Then you want to click on Activate Plugin. Because when it comes to WordPress, any plugin that you install, you will have to activate it because you can install it and it can still be deactivated. So that's a crucial, crucial step when it comes to plugins on WordPress. You want to make sure that you do click the activate button. So now all I have to do is connect and activate my Elementor Pro by using another license. Depending on what Elementor um, Pro package you come with, you have a certain amount of um, licenses. But if you just have one website and you just pay for one license, then that's where you will go and just activate your license. And as you see, the status is now active. So now you will see that you also have a new tab on the left hand side because before all we had was post media pages comments users yada yada but now we actually have this elementor tab and we also have templates so once you install elementor and elementor pro you will now have these new tabs of settings and things that you can do with these additional plugins 
So the first thing I like to do once I have Elemental and Elemental Pro installed is go to the settings and I'm gonna go to the features. And I highly recommend you do this just in case certain things that are needed to build a website in 2024 is not actually activated on your actual Elementor installation. So for me, I know that I use Flexbox Container and as I see it's on default, I will go ahead and I will put that to active. When things are in beta, like if I go here, you can see that these few things are in beta. So those things you necessarily just want to keep on default or um, inactive. But for Flexbox Container, I highly recommend you have that on. And pretty much everything else is in default is okay. So we're going to go ahead and save changes. So now that we actually have Elementor and Elementor Pro installed, we're going to just go here. I'm gonna to go to visit the site. Actually, I'm gonna go visit my site because on this this particular one, I don't have the theme activated yet. So I'm gonna to go to my portfolio site and I'm actually going to open Elementor here and I'm gonna just show you guys what Elementor looks like. So this is my portfolio site and I'm just gonna open Edit with Elementor. So this is basically what you will be doing when you have your um, website and your theme already activated on your domain and you have Elementor and Elementor Pro installed, you can quickly or easily click on the Edit with Elementor and you can begin editing. So roughly, I just wanna show you guys what inside of Elementor it actually looks like so as you see on this right hand side I have my actual web page that I can now edit because you see I have pink lines around things which means it can be edited with Elementor and then you see on this left hand side I have all of these different widgets that I can now drag and drop onto the page and I can begin building out my web page. So for example, if I wanted to add another heading above here, I can just get the heading. It's a little bit jumpy sometimes, you guys, but I can just drop it there. And as you see, the heading is here. I'm just gonna type in new heading so you guys can see. And then anything that you add, any widget that you add from Elementor will have these three sections. It will have the content section, the style section, and the advanced section. So as you see, I just edited the text by typing it in the content section. I can also link it to a page if I want to. And if I go to the style section, I can now edit how this actually looks. So let's just say I'm gonna use RAM and I'm gonna change this to five RAM. You see, I just was able to change the font. You can also, I mean the font size, and you can also just, you know, use the toggle button as well. You can also go to the text color and you can choose any color that you like. You can also choose it from this side by just going on the color picker. This here is the global settings, which I will be talking about in my next video. So be sure you guys are staying tuned and subscribe for that video. And you can do all other types of stuff. You can add a shadow if you want. You can add a stroke if you want. Let's change this to white so you guys can actually see it. And I'm going to thicken it up as you see. You can add all the styling, and like I said, it's to any widget. And then if you go to the advanced, I'm going to talk about this thoroughly in another video because there's so many things to touch bases on over here. But this is just giving you more additional things and edit options for whatever widget you do drag and drop. So if you just click on this Rubik's Cube, this will take you back to all of the widgets. So once you're actually clicked on, let's say if I edit this text right here that says Michelle, the um, Elementor panel on the left side will take you to the editing um, options for this particular thing. So if I, let's say I click on these icon boxes right here, you see the things changes over here because now I'm clicked over here to edit this and not a text. And you can even sell by the title. So anything that you put over on your page from the Elementor widgets, the heading of what it is will be right here. So this widget is a heading widget. If I click to edit this, this is a social icon widget and things of that nature. 
And like I said, if you ever want to get back to see all of the widgets because you want to drag and drop a new widget, you can just click on this Rubik's Cube. And then you will see all of these um, different widgets. Again, you can just take one, drag it. And again, all of the editing stuff is pertaining to this particular thing. So if I want to change this icon to maybe let's do a book. Let's do this book. I can do that. I can now center it to the left, change the color. Let's go with my orange Then change the size. I can change how it appears on a hover state. So if I want this to go white on hover, as you see, I can do that. I can even do a uh, animation on hover. So it's so many different things that you can do, but essentially, the first thing is you will just see these, the panel or the widgets. You can drag and drop it like I dragged and dropped this icon. And then over here, the options or the editing options will change and adjust to whatever it is that the pink outline is on. So again, if I'm on a text, I'm now editing the text. You know, if I'm on here, I'm now editing this book so I can see everything there from here. And also edit things like that. And that's pretty much how you use Elementor or like the introductory to Elementor. Be sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can be up to date with the next videos that I will have coming. And yeah, that concludes this video, you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one.